Hi everyone, my name is Amélie Gruel and I'm a PhD student at IFRS CNRS, a French laboratory. Today, I will be presenting you our article on the performance comparison of DVS data downscaling using Spike in our networks, recently accepted at WACV 2023. This work was developed with my supervisor Jean Martinet and with Bernard Beninales Pelanco and Teresa Celano Gotaledona, two microelectronic researchers at IMSC in Spain. Our main contribution is the implementation of an innovative method to downscale spatially even based data using Spike in our networks. First, let's define the terms we use. Even based data is the visual output produced by the dynamic vision sensor, or DVS. It corresponds to the asynchronous activation of pixels only at the time of a change in brightness in a visual scene. Spike in our network, or SNN, represents an asynchronous type of artificial neural network closer to biology than traditional artificial network. The joint use of DVS and SNN is a promising combination for dynamic visual data processing as they share many features such as biological inspiration, temporal dimension, model sparsity, and aim for a higher energy efficiency. Special event data downscaling scanning is a non-trivial and increasingly relevant issue as embedded systems tend to use DVS and SNN conjointly but are highly limited in energy resources, memory, computational power, and communication bandwidths. Indeed, energy consumption is directly proportional to the number of spikes processed, thus to the number of input events, itself proportional to the number of pixels. Finally, deep SNN models also face difficulties in handling heavy data. In this work, our core objective is to design a fully integrated energy efficiency SNN model able to run dynamically on an anamorphic platform. We introduce in our work two novel SNN architectures using spike pooling to downscale events specially. So input events are split into two batches according to their polarities in order to preserve as much as original data as possible. They are then translated directly as input spikes in two 2D layers connected to two smaller layers of the required downscale size using a one-to-one -one exciting convolution. In the first architecture, the two priorities are handled separately, although during the same simulation. The second architecture builds on the first one and adds a mechanism for mutual inhibition between the polarities using a one-to-one -one inhibiting convolution. Thus, specially done scanning using SNN pooling relies entirely on the neurons' interesting dynamics, which come close to the behavior of a DVS pixel. We present in this work, a quantitative and qualitative comparison of those two novel methods with the special event dot scaling methods previously implemented by the Tonic Library and ourselves. We compare two datasets, DVS128 gesture and NMNIST, dot scale specially using different methods and dividing factors. We compared physical properties, such as the mean number of events and the temporal density. We also reviewed the evolution of classification performance using the Slayer classifier. Finally, we studied the evolution of the runtime necessary to downscale one second of real-time event data. Here, both SNN methods run on normal hardware are obviously the closest to real-time. All in all, these quantitative and qualitative comparisons demonstrate that SNN pooling achieves an efficient trade-off between the optimization of physical properties, classification performance, real-time data handling, and energy consumption. If you're interested, you can take a closer look at our results in WACV proceedings or contact us directly. Thank you for your attention.